Tena koto katoa. Hi everyone, meet Tom. He had a stroke four years back. He looks confused because he has severe difficulties planning and organizing his day-to-day -day activities, such as shopping, deciding what to cook, what to do. He is completely dependent on his family members. It's sad. You know, in New Zealand, around 24 episodes of stroke happens every day, and that's 9,000 stroke a year. Stroke causes severe difficulties in cognition, functional well-being, activities of daily living, and fatigue. Even after a very good functionally improved life, you still have cognitive deficits. That's around 50 percentage of the stroke survivors have cognitive deficits, out of which planning, organizing, decision making, and problem solving difficulties are the most common ones. And these are called executive functioning. Impairment in executive functioning is not to have severe deficits. But imagine what if we could predict what causes executive dysfunctioning four years post stroke. That's where my research comes in. So I am focusing on understanding the predictors of executive functioning in four years post stroke survivors. So this is a quantitative study, which is an extension of our course four study. It uses data from 132 participants. And during the time of stroke, your cognition, functional well-being, your quality of life, and health-related risk factors are measured. And after four years, your ex executive functioning of a post-stroke survivor is measured. My results were striking. Around 50% of the post-stroke survivors had executive dysfunctioning even after four years. So what predicts it? Older age, unemployment predicts executive dysfunctioning four years post-stroke. Moreover, having a hypertension, coronary heart disease, poor cognitive functioning, and poor functional well-being predicts executive functioning in four years post-stroke survivors. That's, that's, that's a sad incident. So now what do we do with our research? With my research, I intend to provide specific rehabilitation programs for those who are suffering from stroke so that we can enhance their quality of life, enable a better life to them. So I'm sure this will enhance their quality of life and they will have a better life. So let's break disabilities and give them a better life. Kia ora. Thank you.